All the three terms, cryoplanation, equiplanation, and orteplanation, are one and the same things and found in periglacial landforms. Now, what are periglacial landforms? When we have a glacial landmass, the region close to the glacial landmass is a region which actually witnesses a lot of freeze and thaw activity, and this region. Periphery to the glacier, we can say, is the periglacial region. So, in this periglacial region, what happens is the leveling of the land takes place. So, this process, which can be called as alteplanation, equiplanation, or cryoplanation, actually focuses on leveling the land. So, whenever you have uh, the periglacial land masses, those are actually leveled here and a flat land is being produced. So, what are the two processes involved here? The first process which is involved is actually breaking up the mountainous areas and this could be either through nivation or through the frost wedging activity. Now, once that is done, any kind of depressions or terraces would be filled. So, second process is accumulation and this accumulation occurs in the region of depressions, in the region of terraces and these two processes together form this uh, cryoplanation. So, the most common term we use is cryoplanation. The word cryoplanation was introduced by Brian. Similarly, equiplanation, again, as the name suggests, it is equating the things. So, this term was, equi uh, was introduced by cranes and alteplanation by eggs. Now, alteplanation, you can remember well, A for eggs, uh, A for alteplanation and A for Alaska. So, it was mainly seen in the regions of Alaska where soliflexion is high and you have lots of freeze and thaw activity. Uh, this uh, phenomena was studied by eggs there and therefore this was known as alteplanation. So, all of those three actually bring in the same concept but the idea is how at a subpolar level or high altitude level where you have glaciers in the periphery of those areas, the periglacial area as we say, how does this equation or this um, uh, flattening of the land takes place and this is alteplanation. Now, uh, all these things we have discussed in detail in our lecture on periglacial landforms as well. So, you can refer that as well and uh, do follow the links below for more details on geography. Have a wonderful day ahead.